I have my good friend Sean here with me. Hey, Sean. hey Sam, how are you doing? Not I'm all set for a snorkeling trip. <laughs> oh, this is amazing. <laughs> uh, Foolish Navel is wondering about the hype music. Yeah, this is a special stream. We are in the islands. We are uh, we are ready to snorkel and look under the surface and let's look at Sean showing up <laughs> with snorkeling gear. This is amazing. <laughs> oh, boy. Did well. I'm, I'm not going to get you into trouble with uh, Twitch and the old uh, the hot tub. I don't have a hot tub here, I'm afraid. Oh, uh, love the floaties. Love the floaties. Uh, uh, and yes, uh, folks are asking if we can watch later. Yeah, this is all being recorded. So we'll, we'll, um, you know, we'll put this up on the YouTubes uh, soon. But Sean, welcome. And um, we're going to, we are going fast and furious here, trying to bring on a lot of folks who are passionate about it. So, you know, 30 minutes each person from uh, this point forward. So, Sean, the floor is yours. Tell us who you are, what you do, and uh, you want to talk about animations in Dr. Mary. Yes, yes, I would like to. Yes, so um, hi everyone. Uh, my name's Sean. I'm, I'm a software developer. I've spent uh, many time in the past building WPF apps, but slowly migrated to Xamarin. And now, obviously, I'm getting quite excited about .NET Maui. So um, I've, in the past, mostly built applications for clients, but then started to venture in the field of building my own applications and starting to see what was possible rather than building kind of more functional business applications, actually being able to then make things feel a little, little bit more alive in terms of animations and bits like that. Um, so that is the topic of my talk. Um, and yes, I did prepare a couple of slides, but um, probably mostly covered some of that topic content already so yeah feel free to you know share your desktop whenever you're ready and sean is actually in in the uk we have like five different uh time zones today with with all the speakers we got us east coast west coast uh uk dominican republic so we are, we're all over all right sean if you're ready i'm going to bring up your desktop and uh yep we see your stuff so uh yeah you are okay. so we're all ready to go uh, we've covered who I am, so we'll skip past that one. Um, so, uh, yes, so, uh, the, the subject of the talk today is, is around animations that are available within .NET MAUI. Um, so, uh, what, what .NET MAUI gives us is essentially there are a set of pre-built animations that lets us um, quite simply animate something within, within our application. So, uh, they give us things to... Uh, animate the opacity, the rotation of things, the scale, and then also the translation, moving them around the screen. Um, these are these are effectively extension methods on that provide a wrapper around uh, something around, around the fundamental uh, of the fundamental animation implementation. Um, the got no Maui documentation is really quite decent as well. So I would thoroughly recommend checking that out. Um, they give some fairly decent examples of how to then start to work through what what things are possible within it and actually explaining all of the detail of what of each of the um the methods offer um we're going to touch on the uh, some proper examples so we're not going to actually jump over to the the documentation side thoroughly recommend checking that out um so as i said the, the pre-built animations are it's effectively a method that you can run off of uh, a single uh, ui element a visual element um, and those are all wrap, they will wrap up what, what Donnie Maui offers in terms of, uh, what we might consider a custom animation, which is actually the animation class that gives us, uh, the ability to animate as much as we can, uh, provides a lot more power than just this, uh, say a rotate two will tell you how many, uh, the angle you can rotate by or rotate to. Whereas with the animation class, you can actually define each keyframe and how it how you move between that sequence of, of uh, changes. So when we get something like the, when we start to be able to use the more complex animation library, we can then actually start to create much more complicated animations like this. Uh, these are currently ones that we've built in the, these are from the Xamarin Community Toolkit. Um, so there are I was, was going to mention that, Sean, because like you, you are very modest in your intro. You didn't even mention that. I mean, you know, <laughs> the chat room and, and, and Dan is saying we we, so we thank you for working on that. Uh, you know, so Dot and Mavi comes with a whole bunch of ammunition, uh, I mean, out of the box with tooling. But if you need more, 
you know, the things that, you know, XAML developers most commonly need, like, uh, you know, um, effects and behaviors and converters and uh, some extra controls. Those are now all part of .NET community, uh, Mavic community toolkit, and Sean's a big contributor. So we thank you for, uh, you know, for your work on that. Thank you. Yes, yes. Sorry, I, I should have mentioned that. Yes, I, I, do, I do help maintain the XAML community toolkit, which is not getting a lot of love at the moment, obviously, because of the migration over to the to Maui, uh, and we we might we help maintain the, the Maui community toolkit as well. Um, it is worth pointing out that the Maui community toolkit will aim to GA at the same time as Maui does, but we won't have full animation support in there, and we we probably won't have a full sub, a full set of functionality. But I believe Brendan's talking about that topic later on today. Yes, indeed. Um, indeed. So yes, we we will have ship with some functionality and or at least. Uh, some of the, the key parts that you could then go to anim, uh, implement some of the details that you need. So we, we might give you some of the heavy lifting done and you might just then have to implement the, the animation, the definition of the animation itself. We might give you the behavior to then trigger the animation. You might just have to work with the, the detail there. Um, so again, in terms of custom animations, again, there's, there's actually really quite good documentation on the Microsoft Docs site for the Maui. Um, they've, they've been filling that up pretty quickly at the moment. So it's, uh, it's, there's a, there's a lot there now. Um, and again, that might show you some, some fairly good examples, but again, we're, we're going to walk through that. Uh, and that's where I think we're going to stop. Can, now. can I ask you a quick question here? Um, yeah. kind of a fundamental thing, uh, Sean, um, when you talk about animations, like wh why is it important, uh, one on mobile? Cause like it makes your maybe app feel alive, but uh, also like if you have more thoughts and why we should use it and, and, and how, and then also how does this all relate to desktop? Okay, so um, I mean, the, the, the terms of making it feel alive, I guess that, that it's, we, we wanna provide some level of feedback to the user. If, if say we're running a long, maybe we're running a, mm -hmm. uh, a long lived task we don't want the user to just sit there and we don't want so and not realize what anything's happening um now we're all used to maybe seeing a little busy spinner but again that that becomes a little tiresome and is usually quite small and quite subtle so with animations we can start to provide a better form of um feedback to the user and actually i've, I've knocked up a few little samples there in terms of maybe a little loading icon that we could do um and then, so this, this is the bit where I, I sometimes start to struggle in terms of business applications. So um, when I started to appreciate the value in, in what .NET what Xamarin Forms had at the time, and obviously now .NET Maui is in the form of, uh, in like a, a game. So effectively I, I built a, sorry, a little word search game last year, and then we were able to actually utilize a lot of the, um, <laughs> um, uh, functionality so we can actually start to make things look really quite fancy so if you guessed yeah. a word then the word could grow and shrink and give the user the feedback that it, things are actually happening yeah. to them and and the same like interactivity one could argue also applies to desktop apps uh, you know you you need the user to know what they're doing and anything really helps and i think what <laughs> Sean kind of broke out into a laughter because we, we have Dan in the chat room who's also <laughs> into diving. And, uh, you know, Sean came already, which is, you know, for uh, for a British uh, person to come, you know, be ready with like a, like a Hawaiian lei and the snorkeling gear, it's, it's something. It's saying something. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. We've, we've got a plenty, plentiful supply of these. My, uh, my daughter's going to Hawaiian <laughs> birthday party. So. All right. Um, so dive actually, log. Actually, Sorry, no, no. Sorry, I was going to uh, ask you about this app. Uh, so you're using some animations in here. Uh, yes, yeah. So um, given that the topic was about snorkeling uh, or uh, a vague uh, um, relation to, uh, in relation to, to Maui, I've um, I've knocked up a little sample app now. Uh, I've I've not gone to levels of actually providing uh, key details in terms of dives. So Dan might be bitterly disappointed here. <laughs> But we'll see. Um, and actually, my environment is not particularly happy at the moment, so I am running in a, in a desktop. I think it's Mac Catalyst because my uh, 
my iOS environment on Apple is not particularly happy. Uh, let me just bring the app over. So um, there we go. It's a fairly basic app in the fact that you could record a dive. Um, and, so and thank you for like spinning up an app just to show us this. Uh, thank you. That's okay. Oh, it gave me um, a bit of fun playing with animations and trying to work out why my bindings were not playing ball. Um, so yes, so I like to say it's it's a relatively simple one. You, you create a, you can add a location in terms of where you're uh, doing it. Or you can say we're diving in Cambridge in the United Kingdom. Uh, we went, we did a dive today, um, and we dived at 10 meters. Uh, so you can see we give a little animation here in terms of just popping something up just to show uh, that something's happened. Um, now, I know obviously there, there are things like pop-ups and uh, many other controls that are supplied either by the toolkit or even Telerik and, and other providers. Um, the sole purpose of what I've built here today is just to show off how you could apply an animation to, to play in Maui, basically. So I think the only dependency I'm using is the uh, Maui Community Toolkit and also uh, the, the MVVM Toolkit to just handle the bindings for me. So as you see, um, when I hit save, this did pop up. And if I can find the code for that. Have to bear with me. I've not got to a state of having a very happy environment at the moment. It might be my own it's, fault. It's, for the using. it's the reality for you know mobile presently yeah. mobile dev or any cross platform dev to be honest. So God, where's our animation? Save success. So um as a very simple one, this this is our save pop-up. Now what happens is when we click button, it raises an event, which is obviously not best practice, but um, it's to prove the point. Uh, so we just make sure that we've got, we've set it to nothing. So it's the scale of zero, meaning it technically won't it will render, but it's got a width and height of zero. Um, just making sure the opacity is six. I think I said it in the XAML to zero. And then all it does is it will scale it up to one. So that's a hundred percent over the period of half a second. Um, and then we use easing bouncing out that gives you that, that little bounce. If I can um, jump back here and we'll do it again. You also have something like as the thing gets added to the list looks like. Yes, yes, I have, I've uh, added one that so there you go. You've got that little bounce, and that's how it that tweaks that. Um, yes. So actually, what what I looked at was I believe we've done this through a behavior, um, which would be a bit better practice. So the the grid on the previous example is quite convoluted, but we've got a, a frame, a grid, and then a load of uh, text fields with a few little icons to show uh, what what it relates to. Um, and then what you'll notice here is I've added a, a behavior. And in this example on the viewing behavior, what we do is, so um, when the animation, when the item is, when the item is loaded, so it's effectively, it's, it's coming into our collection view. What it will then do is it'll, It'll give a brief pause because we're, we're going back. So we want to make sure that the, the user is ready to view it. Uh, put it off screen. Again, we probably want to be dealing with, if we're dealing with a desktop environment, we want to make sure that it is definitely off screen. So this would probably want to be reliant on the, the height of the, the parent view. Uh, and then effectively what we do is we're going to then tell it to animate itself back into its, its uh, eventual position. Um, and rather than using an easing, so this, sometimes I find that, uh, I don't necessarily always find the right easing to give the right out the result result, result that I'm looking for. So sometimes you just end up having to kind of roll your own. So in theory, what this is going to do is it's going to go past its destination, then bounce back and then slowly settle on its, its actual destination. 
I'm sure if I had the, the time, maybe actually working out the easing and some of these settings might might benefit there. But sometimes I, I quite like the, the ability to just control it completely. Um, so if we hit done here, what you'll notice is it does it slides in and then it shows you that it's um, it's come into position. Now, Sean, is this uh, built in? This is built into DOM, right? What you're this is here yes. The so the, this, okay. these, this is actually one of the the pre-built functions as well. So. Mm -hmm. They provide you some extension methods, which will just say, move this visual element to these coordinates, zero, uh, so X and Y. So I don't change the X. Typically, whenever something's added, it's the, the translation X and Y will be zero. And therefore, you can then actually start to say, well, I'll, I'll, what I'll do is I'll move it completely out of view, and then it will eventually settle back down to its ultimate destination where it should have been, which is the zero there. Uh, and then the, the third parameter is how long it's going to take. So it's 250 milliseconds, 150 milliseconds, and 100 milliseconds. Um, there is always the complication in with an animation is that when you want, obviously we want we want to show something moving. We want to make it feel like things are happening, but we don't want to then block the user from being able to do things because obviously then that will possibly upset them and then um, stop them wanting to use the app. And we don't want bad reviews. So um, there is the ability to cancel animations as well. So um, what I've done in the past is uh, if you. Oh, and, and Sean, uh, if you don't mind just bumping up your fonts, please. Is that better? So... Yeah, maybe a tad more. Okay. I don't think go. I can fix the app, unfortunately. Yeah, this is better. Okay, so uh, and then it, it it's those like subtle animations like uh, when you when you don't have it you you kind of miss it and it's just that little bit of interactivity you know drawing the, or engaging the user a little bit that that that's all that makes the difference. Yes, yeah. So um, another one of my favorites is I discovered this in from a CSS library that I this is this one what is in the toolkit in the Xamarin community toolkit and it will be coming at some point. Uh, We make sure we've beaten our depth and what it'll do with a brief time then actually what it'll do is it'll give you an animation and it'll give you a little wiggle of the uh, the text to show mm -hmm. you that something's something's happened um the progress bar animation you saw that's actually from the maui community toolkit that's the one that i'm showing off there but the the, the other one that this wobble was i believe it's called tadar uh, and that's back on this one here. So you, you're using half and point. half, right? If you're using some things that are built into Dot Maui, and then some you're borrowing from the Dot Maui community toolkit. Uh, so uh, only only the the progress bar is from the community toolkit as it currently stands. The this this wobble one will eventually make it in, but it's it's not there. It's not going to be shipped in version one. Sure, essentially. Um. But in order to achieve that, you can see this This is dealing with the animation class itself. So this is not utilizing the the extension methods that are provided with the framework class itself. But that those extension methods, ultimately, they call down to this uh, this class and they, they eventually define what happens over the period of time. So um, I think, so you can see, obviously, it, it becomes slightly more complicated as you build them, but um, I don't, hopefully, shouldn't be too complicated. Um, effectively, what you do is you define an animation and then you can add child animations to it. So therefore you can add multiple animations and therefore they'll all execute at the same time. So what you see is we've got uh, multiple that have the same start times and therefore they will start at the same and ultimately will end up at the, the resulting changes, which end up at the one. So that's effectively you think of that at 0% of the eight, the time, the length of the animation up to 100%. Sorry, the, the tooltip keeps getting in the way. Um, so yes, yeah, so essentially, you're saying between a percentage and another percentage for this length here, when you actually commit it, you're saying, do change this thing between this value and this value over 
this course of time. Mm -hmm. uh, so essentially what we're going to say is we're going to say, we'll start at 100%, scale it down slightly, and then we'll bounce it up. And then at the same time, we're then also going to rotate it left to right a little bit. Um, and actually, I mean, uh, if you start to look at some kind of like CSS animations, they, they actually translate fairly well in terms of, of functionality that's available to you. And typically, um, if they're well written, they, they can translate quite well in terms of code. Yeah. And, you know, uh, uh, Dan, if he's in the chat room, he might get upset with me saying this, but you, you could do CSS on, on XAML as well. And I mean, and but I think the bigger use case is like if you do anything like Blazor or you know other web technologies, you can bring over your CSS stuff uh, just as fine into mm -hmm. .NET Maui. Yes, yeah, I, I have to admit I haven't ventured down the CSS route. I still stick with XAML. Um, can you, uh, can you, Sean, for a second, uh, take us to uh, a web page or something? Because you mentioned your um, your app, uh, your word search app. Could you show us uh, the you know uh, somewhere on the store? Like, what is it called? Where can yes. we? Uh... Oh, there you go. Dan is actually on board with uh, you know SAS. I don't know. Actually, yeah. So actually, how I met Dan, uh, oh, I checked him out on one of his his, his libraries, the, the mobile build tools. Yes. Yes. Um, yes, it's another thing I didn't mention. <laughs> uh, so this, this is, this is the app search. that we yeah, built. There you go. Um, which works fairly well. well. And this is beautifully done, by the way. So congratulations. Like this is all Xamarin forms, right? Uh, yes. I mean, this this is this is JavaScript. I'm just trying to see if I can find actual. Uh, Yeah, super word search. So yeah, we yeah, you know, folks can go go look for this. It's it's really really fun. I'll try this one time. One and one, it it is good fun. Yeah, it it really opened my eyes to the the possibilities. It, it what were available in terms of uh, Xamarin and obviously what was coming in Maui. Um, the bit that some things that I was able to utilize there was was uh, an animation framework called Lottie. Lottie, which yeah, it's really quite impressive. Um. I've seen mention of uh, looking at Maui, uh, potentially looking at Maui. I think someone submitted a PR, but uh, I think it's early days. I think it's still venturing on yeah. renderer support yeah. rather than the new architecture. So, yeah, and, and that's, that's what kind of yeah David was saying, like the whole ecosystem and all your favorite libraries, everything moving forward to .NET Maui. It's it's coming along. Um, in the chat room here, uh, Sean um, uh, Godel S share spot. If I'm saying that right. Um, is there an animation story? Is it in, is it is it like nicely flushed out in the .NET Maui docs, or is it all Xamarin animations for now? Uh, so um, here I'll show you. Uh, where is there isn't um, dots? Trying to find this link. There isn't uh, XAML support for animations. Official animal uh, official animation support in XAML. Uh, actually, as I was knocking up this app, the Javier popped up over the weekend and showed off all of his fancy animations, which quite possibly better than I had achieved. Um, but it shows they are they are proving that it's possible. Actually, here is here is um, Javier's uh, repository yeah. where he's building some stuff within C Sharp or XAML. So there is the, the ability to trigger, uh, run them off triggers, uh, behaviors. And also the code behind. So um, th there's mention of it. There's, there's, like I said, so there's no official support. Um, I would be surprised if it didn't e end up there. But obviously, there, there's um, mm -hmm. lots to do. So um, yeah, and and, and uh, I posted in the chat room. This is the Javier that you know David mentioned and, and Sean is mentioning. He's he's awesome. Uh, part of the Dr. Mavi engineering team. He does a lot of work with graphics and, and animation. So mm -hmm. go follow him. See what uh, what he's posting. Yes, yeah, definitely do. Um, and the other thing that I was going to briefly mention in terms of kind of outside of the box is you could technically do animations through. Uh, Maui graphics. Mm -hmm. uh, there, there, it's slightly more complicated there, but something I've been toying on with is actually building a, another game in terms of Maui graphics, which will actually let you, if I show you a 
brief kind of so this this is how lofty works in terms of xamarin um like i say that that can come over to um hopefully that will come over because that's um this is this is scalable because it's effectively using vector graphics so therefore um you don't have to deal with image issues now obviously we've got svg support but it still builds on it um compile time um and the other thing that i've been toying with is this kind of concept in the fact that you can oh uh it, it's, it's more kind of the, the game game engine approach if, if anyone's aware of that obviously you, you've got a, a timer loop it keeps pulling you back and you can start to draw on a canvas and therefore you're just moving things around the canvas as as you progress through the, the time so that's something to, to certainly do and i i I fully expect that things like the charting charting controls will probably end up building on top of Mario graphics. It's much yeah, like yeah. Ski Sharp, if, if anyone's familiar with that. Yeah, uh, so yeah, a few things yeah. to consider. Uh, did, did you uh, have something about accessibility? Yes, uh, so. yes there was, there was um, a very brief point. Um, there's, there's no official support for disabling them yet, but it's something I'd, I'd like to start investigating is the fact that um, Certainly on iOS, you can turn off the mm -hmm. set the reduced motion. So um, despite now telling you how you should go and animate your applications, there are potential scenarios. Might not be for shouldn't. everybody. Yeah. Yeah. So um, I've played around with a few bits of being able to tweak the the underlying .NET Maui animations just to not re render them when this setting's turned on. Uh, that bit's easy enough to do, but then it's the problem is you probably want the result out at the end of it. So if you want to say, well, uh, this control will grow in size or it will do something we want, you might still want that behavior to happen, just not do it, um, in an animated way. So it's, it's not a, it's, it's not something I'm trying to consider, but I don't know what the final answer no, is there yet. Yeah. Yeah, well said, Sean. And uh, you know, thanks for uh, you know sh shedding some light on a part of the .NET Maui UI stack that we don't. I, I think we, we don't talk enough about animation, so we should. So you know, thanks for all the work that you are doing. Uh, you know, trying to uh, show us the way, and also your contributions towards the .NET Maui Community Toolkit. So it's much much appreciated. So one other thing I'll, I will mention, folks, is like uh, everybody that you see here on stream today, everyone who is speaking, as well as maybe most of you who are in the chat room, we are all like .NET Maui uh, fans. We are, we are, you know, enthusiasts. And there is us and then there is Sean, who's a whole other level of crazy because he's <laughs> signed away like a few months of his life and he's writing a book on .NET Maui. Yes, so, yes, thank you. Um, congratulations and uh, good luck with all the hard work. Thank you. Yes, I mean, all, all bits like this really help because it, um, it's content that needs to go in. So it does certainly help. Thank you. Yeah, indeed. Uh, yeah, we are engineers and we don't have much of an eye for design. But yeah, well said, well said. So any help um, is appreciated, you know, like from the frameworks, from the toolkits and the libraries. So mm -hmm. absolutely. Yeah, I, th I think that's the fundamental goal of the toolkit is to be able to provide you with maybe inspiration, but then yeah. also a lot of the heavy lifting could be done for you. Sure. So, sure. Um, yeah, there's a bit of both there. And I think um, I, I won't touch on too much because I don't want to steal Brandon's thunder later on. Yeah. Yeah. Brandon Miller will be on towards later uh, in, the, in the day. So, uh, Sean, if you're done, I'm going to bring your uh, desktop uh, down. And I want to thank you for, you know, taking the time. It's in a late evening for you in, in UK. So hopefully you get to enjoy the rest of your evening and we appreciate all that you do. And thank you. Thank you so much. Uh -huh.